uh, I am going to set up the app for the 8-channel DVR system. It is the Cobra system from Harbor Freight Tools. Item number 63890. So you can see my phone here. It's ready to go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tap on the app for the system. It's RX Cam View. And it's loading up now. Okay, so you don't see anything yet. I haven't set up the system to go to the app yet. So what we're going to do is click on the menu icon up here at the top left hand side. You see the list of options that you've got here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and tap on device. And then up on the upper left, I'm sorry, upper right hand side, we're going to hit the plus icon. And let's go ahead and click on the import devices. So you see this little QR scan icon here it wants me to scan this but it doesn't appear to be working with this for some reason all right so we'll go ahead and back out of that and let's go ahead and manually add it this time so we can name this whatever we want I'll change that to a one and then for the login type, you see you have either the choice of device ID or IP domain. It's up to you on how you want to enter it. I'll go ahead and just do the device ID and then I'll just manually enter that number I saw on my box. Okay, so, and then we leave the media port alone. Uh, by default, it was admin. I left the username alone as that too. So I'll just go ahead and enter the password. And everything looks good. So click on save. You see here now it says it's connecting at the bottom. Oh, and there we go. So now, but looks like by default, we're at the nine channel view. Um, I only have one camera connected right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and change this to a four way view, just to make it a little bit bigger. All right, now you, we can double tap and see a larger picture on the screen. Now that doesn't look very clear. However, if we click on the icon down there, you see it lit up in blue. It looks like a little picture. It's right now set by default to substream. Um, if you want a better, clearer picture, then tap on mainstream, and there we go. See? It comes out much better. It's nighttime right now, so it's in black and white. And tap that again to bring away the menu. Now, a couple of the icons down here, starting with the uh, far left-hand side, you see this camera icon. Tap on that. You can actually take a screenshot by tapping that in the middle, and you'll see a screenshot saved successfully. Uh, the next one is the recording symbol, and you can manually start and stop recording, again, by going ahead and tapping on the camera icon in the middle. and tapping it again if you want to manually stop and you saw there at the bottom it did say uh, recording successful uh, the next one over would be this now this is only useful if you have a ptz camera installed onto the system so since i don't i'm just using the default cameras that the system came with i don't have an option to do anything here uh, we already touched base upon this one and this one, I have not figured out what that actually means yet. It just says devices. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what that does. So uh, I'll have to look that up or do some more research on that. Oh, somehow it went back to substream. Let's go back and take that back to mainstream. Okay, there we go. And then these are if you happen to have audio. But there is no audio or intercom uh, hooked up to the system. Uh, this middle icon would be for your aspect ratio. So, OK, 
Okay, so that would be original. All right, that's what it was on original, it's stretching, okay. A four by three aspect ratio, or 16 by nine. So I think, I think I'll go ahead and just leave it on original. And again, that speaker is again, if you have audio and intercom system set up, but since we don't, it's by default, you don't have that installed. Uh, there's nothing really to do there. So what else can we do? Tap on the menu. I see there's a playback feature. So it's probably way down in here, but it looks like it starts at 0 hundred hours, which was midnight. It's actually 7.54 p.m., so I would have to scroll, and I haven't had anything recording, so. Uh, but that's where you would normally be able to see your playback. Okay, so recording. It looks like it says one new video here. I'm going to tap on that. Oh, and look, and it, there's the thing that I just uh, took a video of for a couple of seconds, so that's kind of cool. And tap that back again, tap the back icon again, and the menu again, image. All right, so again, you'll see that these are images that I had taken when I was playing around, the one that we just took uh, a minute ago. And it looks like, yeah, because I was playing with this earlier, and I had one when my camera was just laying on my desk. So you'll be able to see your images there. Remote setting. That, again, it looks like something I am not familiar with. I would have to do some research to figure out what exactly that would mean. Uh, alarm. Looks like, oh, okay. So alarm notification, you can turn that on or off here. And that is if you want it to alert you through the app if there was some sort of exception that had happened. Uh, we already know what the device list is. You'll have it listed there, so if there happens to be some sort of a red icon going through the DVR symbol there on the left-hand side, then there is an issue with the connection. And then looks like the last thing on the list would be the help icon, so basic instructions on the different categories here in the menu listing, okay? So that looks like it's about it. Back to the live view. Oh, one other icon we didn't touch on is the one up here. Oh, and that just looks like it just takes you to the device list as a shortcut. So I guess that's it for the app. Thanks for watching.